For the third time this year, the U.S. Men's National Team has a new head coach. Anthony Hudson has left the team, and we are now being coached by B.J. Callahan. So Anthony Hudson left the job, and I think it's understandable why he left. Uh, the team is clearly hiring a different coach. We're looking for other guys, and he knows that he's not going to be the permanent U.S. coach. So he's going to be looking elsewhere for a job. A lot of teams are looking for new managers, heading into European preseason. And for his career, it's understandable why he'd want to jump ship now. And it probably is the best move for him, but, like, it's a little bit snaky to do it like that. I mean, just leave right before the Nations League? It, I don't know. Like, with Anthony Hudson, he definitely should not be the head coach. Like, he's still a young coach. I think he does have potential to grow, but it, he wasn't going to get the permanent job. He shouldn't have. He wasn't going to. And I get why he's leaving, but... He couldn't have left us in a better position. So now our new coach is going to be B.J. Callahan. B.J. Callahan had been on Greg Berhalter's staff for a while with the U.S. Men's National Team, but I don't think people really know who he is, and that's understandable. He didn't have a Wikipedia page until yesterday. Like, if you Googled him, the top result was his LinkedIn page. So this is a guy who's been under the radar for a while, so I want to go over his history a bit. And he's a guy who's been around the Philadelphia area for a while. He started out at Ursinus College, where it's a D3 school. He played there and was an assistant coach before moving on to different colleges in the area and working in the youth ranks. He was then hired by the Philadelphia Union, and he worked with their academy and was an assistant coach under Jim Curtin. So I think that he did a pretty good job in those roles. And then Greg Berhalter wanted to hire him for the U.S. and with the U.S. men's national team. And, and it's kind of hard to say what he was actually doing, just being... Like, I wasn't there at all. It said that he was helping with the team culture and was involved in tactical things. But, again, that's something that they kind of just could say for anybody. It, we can't really say for sure if he was a part of that. But for this time, B.J. Callahan was uh, started off in the college ranks, then moved as an assistant coach with the union and worked at the academy, then was the assistant coach for the U.S. Men's National Team. You might notice something when I'm going over his resume. And that's that BJ has no head coaching positions any time in his career. He's never been a head coach of a senior squad throughout his entire career. Now, when I look at his run, I think he's probably done a good job managing academies. And I think that he's probably a very good assistant coach. But do I even have to go over the problem with making this guy the U.S. men's national team head coach? Like... I don't hate the guy. Like, I'm sure he does a good job in his role. But, like, is he even within the top 100 Americans most qualified for this position? I mean, this just is not a good look right now. Like, I get that it's tough to find a coach right before a tournament's about to start. But we couldn't have done something better. Like, again, listen, nothing against BJ Callahan. I'm rooting for us to do well. And, I don't think he's even going to try to become the permanent head coach. But, like, we couldn't have figured anything else out. I mean, we already blatantly said that, like, we're looking for a manager. It's not going to be Anthony Hudson. Like, we should have expected him to walk away. Like, we couldn't have had any contingency plans at all. Like, any plan B in case Hudson walks away. Because this is a, the most important tournament we're going to have for, like, a year until the Copa America. Like, we couldn't be prepared for this situation at all. Like, I don't know. Like, BJ Callen, like, there's nothing to really go into with him. He's just been an assistant coach. You can't guess it at his tactics. We don't know his style of management. Like, I'm just hoping that he puts the best players out on the field, and hopefully they can figure it out. And <laughs> no tactics at all. Go full Jurgen Klinsmann. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm rooting for him to do well, obviously. I want us to win this competition, but, man, it's just, th this is our plan, and I don't know. Hopefully the head coaching search is going well. I mean, I mean, how far are we into it? Five months? I think people should be available by now. Um, I don't know. It's tough to really gauge on who I'd want to be manager right now, because, I mean, if we look at the top available managers, like, I'd say Julian Nagelsmann, just throw as much money at him as you can, but I don't, he's not going to accept this. For the top American managers, it's probably Jesse Marsh, but I don't know, I'm not too big of a fan of him. I know we've been linked with Vieira, who, like, I know from Crystal Palace, he was doing a pretty good job, but 
I think he wasn't getting the most out of us offensively and his like him just dropping as a midway through the season was really weird especially because the second he left and Hodgson came in he was on fire so I I don't know I'm not sold on Vieira I'm not sold on Thierry Henry so like hopefully we can get a really good manager but I don't know it's kind of looking like a weird situation right now. Hopefully we're it's taking this long because we're trying to get the best guy. But uh, yeah, BJ is going to be here in the interim. Anthony Hudson's gone. And I don't think anybody's really going to miss him. Thanks for playing Gio Reyna as a 10, at least. That was something good. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to talk about. We've got a new manager. Yeah, see you.